Hello out there, everybody. Are you ready for some randomizer? It's a 10 o'clock here on the East Coast of the United States. My name is Tyler Salt. I am joined in the booth by uh, TJ Jahl. How are you doing, TJ? Not too bad, Tyler. How I about am doing great. We're here for game one of between Arcturus Chusky and Timp in group AC of the uh, Challenge Cup, the losers uh, bracket here. Uh, both of these uh, players got uh, were defeated uh, 2-0 in their first round matchup. A temp by Dixon and Arcturus by uh, some guy I haven't heard of named Tyler Salt. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, these two are playing for their tournament lives uh, here in this uh, standard Challenge Cup seed, uh, which we should be getting underway momentarily. Yeah, looking forward to a good matchup between these two. Uh seen both runners before seem to be pretty evenly matched what kind of start are you hoping for today Tyler? i mean you know we're gonna i'll i'll be happy what with whatever you know it's like uh, it might be fun to see people do bombs bombs are always fun to watch uh but uh i'm happy regardless of what they're doing the uncle says the seat is sub two hours guaranteed that's really nice of him gonna put the uncle seal of approval on it for sure What do you want to see start wise? Um, you know, let's uh, let's be nice to our runners and see if the seed will throw them something else. Let's go for maybe a bow start. A bow start. I like bow. Bow is always fun. Uh, I saw a pendant down at Desert. Or curious with the caught me off guard there with the uh, uh, the pre escape map check. That was pretty good. As we saw, we got a bottle in Link's house as well. Ooh, a fire rod there from the uncle. Oh, that's a that's a nice one to get off of there. You know, definitely leaves you a high-powered offensive right away. Especially with that green potion that we found in uh, in Link's house, we can just burninate everything up in this escape sequence. Yeah, nothing's gonna stand in our way this time, that's for sure. Jack check, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes it pays off to be really thorough. Of course, the uh, first order of business here in Escape uh, is looking for bombs. Uh, Timp is uh, killing a guard or two. We saw a heart from the guard pool. Oh, that was another one. So we saw a heart and a full magic. Looks like the guards have the good magic pool or the good prize pool. So uh, if they kill enough guards and ropes, they will get a uh, they will get eight bomb drops from that. Yeah, that's always a nice one to see, especially during this game. You start, you know, you don't have to try to loop in and come back to the back of escape later after a glove. Yep, always nice. Or, or God forbid, when your first glove is back there and you have to make your way through uh, the back of escape again uh, from the front uh, there in a standard seed. That always is is major feels bad. Yeah, that's never a good moment when you have to go that route. That's for sure. While our runners are making your way, there's that eight bomb drop uh, for for Ark there. Uh, while our runners are making our way through Escape, uh, let me uh, quickly uh, remind you that this is the uh, Go Mode Podcast uh, Twitch channel. Thank you for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, Tim, of course, one of the hosts of the Go Mode Podcast. And we have uh, behind the scenes, we've got Drunk Future Self pressing the buttons uh, as our tracker. And thanks to Lamaga for restreaming it for us this evening. Thanks very much for everybody coming together and make this happen for our runners and for this tournament. Uh, it looked like there were some bombs in uh, Zelda's cell, uh, so uh, that prize pack less important. Uh, so we do have some bonds. So we'll see if if, if Temp continues uh, killing killing guards here, uh, or having those bombs out of the chest might uh, keep going. 
uh, which saves Timp a little bit of time. Um, Mark spent some time killing uh, killing some guards, maybe uh, that he didn't need to. Um, I usually don't start looking for prize pack stuff until after I've done those three checks in the front of escape, uh, just to maximize the amount of time that I have to find bombs in a chest. Yeah, definitely. I don't uh, follow the same path as you. Uh, it's also interesting to note that Ark also used his green potion to refill his magic as well, not committing to not trying to kill anything else with bombs and just being happy with the 10 he's got. Yeah, uh, fire rod can be, you know, if you're running out, you maybe only have two shots left uh, and you're going into... <laughs> Uh, say the key rat room that can be a little bit dicey uh, but uh, luckily our runners don't have to worry about that with that green potion in hand more bombs in dark cross see definitely didn't want you to have to loop this back in that's very nice of it for once Well, they're just kind of working through here. What kind of seed do you hope to see tonight for our runners, Tyler? Uh, I want a nice one. You know what? It, 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 you know, it's late. We're all adults here. Uh, I want everybody to uh, nice, nice, quick seed. How about that? That's what I want to see. I agree with you, especially to close the evening off. Yeah. <laughs> of course, saying that. It is now not going to happen. You know, this is going to be two plus hours at this point. Yeah, commentator's curse. You know it. Timp with that fire rod making his way out of escape in well under six minutes. You love to see that. 540 for Timp coming out of escape. Yeah, anytime you come out of escape on sub six minutes always feels great. Fire Rod, one of the faster escapes you can get. The key to a sub six escape is starting your timer late. Good points. That would work. Yeah, and just to confirm there uh, on our map check from Timp, we've got crystals in Hera and Eastern and a, a pendant over at Desert that is not green. Timp's going to head up and check Lumberjack here. Bushcrab's just holding single rupees for us, so I don't think they're going to worry about it too much, though Timp is quite close. Ooh, flippers on Lumberjack. Uh, chances are pretty good that we have an Agaseed here, folks. Yeah, it's definitely looking that way. That is not something you want to see within the first, you know, seven and a half minutes of starting your seed. But No, uh, but, you know, at least you know, right? Yeah, that's definitely the other side. Of, you know that uh, eventually you're going to have to probably make that climb. Call comes down to Swamp Palace. Is it a pendant? Will it have anything worthwhile? Of course, uh... Flippers are logically required for Ice Palace, but uh, you can fake Flipper in there pretty easily, so don't need to worry about that. Not much in Lost Woods as we head into Kakariko Village. Timp with uh, 100 rupees going to be able to pay off the bottle vendor. Yeah, that's always nice. And the early bottle to be able to go through just about everything in Kakariko all in one shot. Big 20, big 20, big 20. Let's go. 10 arrows. Dang it, game. <laughs> you couldn't have given us another big 20 in there? <laughs> oh, that would have been classic. That would have been great. <laughs> and a green ruby. Yeah. This early in a seed, you got to find your entertainment where you can get it, you know? It's not much difference between uh, between our runners. So I'll, 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 take a, I'll take a random. I want 
all of these tests. Yeah, it was almost vanilla. That's right. Those tests are all big 20s in the vanilla game. I'd completely forgotten about that because who goes in there in vanilla? That's amazing. Yeah, no, I completely forgotten that as well. That's great. Is this even randomized, as they say, as the meme goes? So far, absolutely nothing of worth here in Kakariko Village. No, the village definitely coming up empty early here. When it's this empty down to one, two, three, four checks left, you know, you got to think about, ooh, there's a hammer. That's something. Um, this is when you start thinking about it. It's like, eh, do I want to blind check the race game? Not normally something I approve of. Uh, but, you know, with, with this few uh, anything of note in uh, in the village, you have to think about it. Oh, Both yeah. single rupees out of the way. Yeah, something's got to give, right? That's what you're hoping for at this point. I probably still wouldn't blind check it. Yeah, I likely wouldn't either. I'd just walk down there and then hopefully I can just save and quit and not have to make the March of Shame back. Yep. Ab just the hammer. Just the hammer out of the main part of Kakariko Village. Uh, South Shore or the Eastern Palace area gonna be loaded here. Yeah, something's gonna have to come through here and give our runners a little bit of direction. Just ten arrows in the library won't be coming back there. Timp's gonna blind check. Let's do it. Ooh, got ourselves an ether medallion there on race game. So the blind check does pay off. We'll see where Tim heads next. Probably South Shore, I would imagine. Yeah, no real reason to rush the eastern area yet. Seems like probably the best place to head. Yeah, no bow. Uh, took Lindu over there. Uh oh, I just not. Oh, oh no, it's just not on the tracker. He's got. I was gonna say, did, did Ark skip the bottle vendor? It's just not on the tracker. So that, that, that is all right. He has that hammer. No worries. He's not trying to call you out, DFS. Not even worth, like, speculating what we're going to find next. We found so little so far. There's a magic cape. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what that means. Hmm. <laughs> I believe you still... You still need a sword for Aga to be in logic. I don't think that... Unless it's swordless, I don't think that the hammer is logical completion of the Aga fight. No, I believe you're right, and I believe that a lamp has to show up for it to be logically. That is true. Gone. Definitely a lamp, yeah. Tim got uh, nicely bailed out by a full magic, so we get some divergence. Uh, Tim in Mini Moldorm Cave. We have a flute and powder. Oh, and slash the curtains, good point. And a hook shot, mini Moldorm cave. Mini Moldorm, don't call me hype cave. Coming through. Wow, that's uh that's a huge check nice and early. I I gotta say I disagree with Temp headed over to Ice Rod Cave here. You get the flute there, you save and quit every time, activate the flute, and then just flute over to eight and check it. That's what I would do. 
Yeah, it's a lot quicker. Plus, you've already got that flute activated, opened up to just quick check anywhere you want to go. I mean, opens the mountain up, opens lots of different options. And you can go over, uh, you pulled the powder there, uh, Magic Bat in Logic. You can uh, do that while you are activating the flute. Yeah, just uh, one little cave opened this game up wide open at this early stage yep. anyway. Plenty to do now. Uh, Saha's closet was uh, empty. Ice Rod Cave just with a heart container. Though our runners will not say no to that. No, definitely not at this point. It's a, get a little bit of health nice and early, and then don't worry about it later as you go down. You never know when you might stumble into a mail upgrade. So at this point, with those with those flippers on the lumberjack ledge, right? The question is, at what point do you do Aga, right? Do you do it as soon as you can? Do you wait for you to have the boots? Uh, do you wait to, do you still try to put it off as long as possible to, to uh, see if you even need those slippers? What do you think? I think I would, uh, you know, check the desert area, do a, do a Gina like Ark is doing right now. Then I'd head up the mountain, and at that point, we'll see if I've stumbled on anything else. And then maybe I'd rush it and get it out of the way. Just a big 20 in a Gina. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that choice, I, I think a defensible one, you know, to kind of try to zig uh, where your opponent has zagged to go check a Gina. It's a check that a lot of people uh, skip, but unfortunately, all the goods are down there in Mini Moldorm Cave. Tim did not go to Magic Bat, by the way. Went straight up the mountain. Yeah, it's a little bit interesting. I'm surprised. Just going to maybe try to route it in as part of a smith chain later, if need be. Sure, yeah, I get that. I, You know, I do wonder that I'm always... But maybe maybe this is a, a flaw in me, but I'm always really suspicious of early fetch quests. You know, if I got that powder and hammer early, I am going straight there. Um, you know, and, and, and that doesn't always work out. So, uh, you know, maybe the, maybe the right play is to, to wait. Yeah, you might be right. I'm, uh, I'm with you. As soon as I see early fetch quests, I'm all over them because typically that's the seed's way of trolling you just a little bit. Looks like uh, Timp maybe took a death in the old man cave. That's too bad. Trying to get through there with the hook shot as your uh, as your kind of location weapon is tricky. I might do the hammer instead of the hook shot. At least it's faster. Yeah, I agree. I'd be using hammer and maybe a trail of bombs if I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Looks like Timp has made it out though. It was nice of the old man to give him his pocket change for leading him out of the dark cave. It's a nice tip. Ark did pick up a little time on Timp because after getting that flute, did save and quit. Uh, directly out of Mini Moldorm Cave. Uh, and so we'll save a little bit of time if he flutes over to uh, Ice Rod Cave. Save a little bit even more time if he doesn't. Um, and is going to check Magic Bat. Yeah, definitely a good play. Get it over with, get it done. I didn't see what was inside. Oh, 300 rupees inside Spectacle Rock. I wondered what Tim was going for. Yeah, like, I, I think at this point in the seed, you know, you're on two hearts, right? Um, you can, you don't even need to bother with the, the bomb jump there. You grab the money, you save and quit, you get a refill, and then you, you go over a hook shot. I, I don't mind that. Magic Bat has something that I didn't see. 
know we're going to just have to wonder for a little bit. It's not a sword. Thank you, uh, chat. The bat had a piece of heart. So it was it was a a bit of a troll, a bit of a bait. Uh, there we all got you baited. No, Tim finds a 300 rupees in Paradox Cave. Uh, so maybe he feels a little silly for getting that in spec rock. But now he's got plenty of money. Yeah, more than enough for the seed unless we need to end up buying some potions down the line. And there's our Moon Pearl in Paradox Cave. Moon Pearl and 300 Rupees, the only uh, things of note in uh, Paradox Cave, but we definitely need that Moon Pearl. We're now just a glove away from Dark World access. Yeah, that's always a nice thing to find, especially at this point when you know that you are, you could potentially be dealing with an Agassi, and you know you're not gonna have to clear the, clear Aga just to get your moon pearl off the pyramid or something oh, silly. No. Oh no, Timp got dead rocked just low enough to not be able to check floating island. It's the blue boomerang though. We don't need to worry about that. One thing we do need to worry about is Tower of Hera, uh, which we can beat. Full clear it. Always nice. Yeah, it's never a dungeon that feels good having to come back to after you've walked Ooh. away from the basement. <laughs> That's why I tend to just do the basement. I'd rather spend the time. I'm with you on that one. I've gotten burned by it one too many times. Yeah, haven't we all? It's uh, probably some runners probably still have nightmares about it. <laughs> Just the map uh, down in the basement cage. There's our big key. So we will at least delay the basement here as Timp sets up for a Hera pot. Let's back up a little bit. Gonna need to try again. Sometimes it's hard to find that last pixel. That last pixel. Yeah, especially with the uh, bootless setup, it can be quite tricky. Ooh. I think taking a death there is fine. You're on one heart. You know, you restart at the beginning. Of the now you get to now you get to try Harrypot again instead of just going up the stairs. Yeah, and having although Timp is just gonna go up the stairs. That's fine too. So hopefully our runners won't have to uh, go to the basement uh, today. There's that small key, though. Timp not going to try to uh, screw around with that bomb jump. Without a sword, can be a little tricky to line that up. Yeah, and using the boots bonk as well, you know, if need be, it's a lot, it's a lot forgiving. Yep. Uh, so there is an item in the basement uh, because we've gotten a whole lot of nothing so far. Uh, so Moldorm has one of our items. The basement has the other. Uh, we both said we we would do the basement at this point, right? Oh, yeah. There's no way I would leave that unturned. As you've said, I've been there too. I've been burnt way too many times by it to ever consider leaving it. Unless I know there's nothing there. And, and we don't, like, you know, they're, they're, we're running out of in-logic checks, to be honest, uh, until we find that glove. 
Yeah, it's pretty slim pickings. I mean, rushing the Zora area never feels good. And that's on the fake. One, two, three there for Temp. Just 10 arrows on our friend Moldorm, though. Crystal number one. I was going to say, rushing the Zora area uh, when you know that the flippers are locked by Aga is even, feels even worse. So, I don't blame Temp for going back in here, getting that other item out of the basement. Yeah, hopefully it'll give some little bit of direction here, but yeah, I completely agree with you. Now, see, one thing I like to do here, no mirror, right? And we still need to do Spiral Cave. So a nice thing to do with that is, oh, and Timp, Timp is going to do it, is going to take a couple hits uh, from these tiles here to get down to, to, to two hearts or so um, to, to make that death warp faster. You're spending the time here no matter what. So uh, take that damage now so you don't have to take it later from the Staldos. Yeah, definitely make the Stalfos job a little bit easier. Art takes an unfortunate fall there to everybody's favorite troll dorm. Oh, and there's our glove. That's our Dark World X that's in the Harrow basement. How about that? Well, that feels good heading back in there for sure. You know, now it opens Dark World up, opens, opens up a lot of different options. So, yeah, the world is our oyster at this point. It's a weird saying. I never really thought about that before. The world is your oyster. Yeah, definitely. You know, you hear it, but you don't really ponder it until... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not gonna anymore, because it's weird, and it makes me feel odd. So, here we go. Fair enough. <laughs> Arc making the uh, the correct choice here and, and going back in. Gonna get that glove in Hera Basement. That would have been real bad, so. And there's our sword, our first sword as our reward at Spiral Cave. That, uh, yeah, it feels good. Mountain was definitely the play here. Looks like we're going to flute over him. Tim grabbing a potion real quick, looks like. Sure, why not? Oh, and Ark unfortunately was uh was the wood coffee break on the wrong side of uh, of that switch so I had to go hit those switches again yeah that's never fun uh, looks like temp is gonna check magic or check magic pad before heading into the dark world yeah it looks like it I think it's fine no mirror no mitts yet you're still a ways away from uh, from being able to do Smith Chain uh, or, or or loop it in nicely, so I don't hate it. No better time, really, than right now before you head into the Dark World. Yeah. And uh, looks like Ark did not take damage, is not uh, doing the uh, Death Warp, is going to walk out of Hera. So Tim has his piece of heart and is headed into the dark world. Now that question, will Swamp be a crystal? Therefore, hard requiring that Agadip. We'll find out in a few short moments here what's, uh, what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, 
moment of truth. It's going to be put off as Timp is not interested. Oh, there it is. And it is a crystal. We have ourselves an Agaseed. Oh, exciting. Five, six crystal. crystals at uh, Swamp and TR. And uh, green pendant uh, uh, Skull Woods pendant Thieves. That green pendant in Skull Woods has got to be a little bit tempting when you have a fire rod and are able to clear it already. I was just I was I was about to ask, do you do you beat Mafula here? I would personally, because I've been burnt by it many times. Typically, he has my mitts, but um, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, me. It's one of those personal preference things. Could be a flaw in my game, but what about yourself? I think. I mean, if I'm being honest, what I would do is. Uh, is go do it and fail since I'm on fighter sword uh, and then feel bad about it uh, so <laughs> but I would I would think real hard about going and doing it right now especially because we we don't have you know that we don't have a bow like this is uh, there's our lamp there in skullwood skullwood's always paying off I will always go check the front of skullwoods um, at the very least, uh, because uh, it just feels like something is always in Skullwoods. Um, uh, but Timp is uh, taking a lamp and headed out, interestingly enough. Yeah, definitely just decides the lamp's a good enough treasure and we'll move on. Yeah, I tend to treat the front of Skullwoods like Overworld. Same. I'd rather get burned by there being nothing in there and doing it than... Uh, there being something in there and missing it. Oh, did he get both items CFS? All right. Well, then it makes plenty of sense that he would nope out. Thanks, DFS. I missed that. I was too busy talking, not watching. Ooh, a Master Sword in the brewery. So how's that for a seed that makes you come to Dark World first before it actually puts Aga into full logic? Bless this game. So good. Ah, uh, yes, there was a bottle in there in the in the pot prison. Yeah. So we'll see. Like, Ark did not go up there to begin with. He came straight over uh, down here into Village of Outcasts and is going to do the Front of Thieves count. So we'll see if Ark makes his way to Skull Woods before too long. Uh, that lamp is, you know, logically required, certainly in reality, not super required, but makes a lot of things a lot easier. Uh, in particular, uh, Misery Mire is a, a crystal and that's probably the place where uh that lamp uh is the biggest deal although it is logically required that and aga one uh of course which our runners will need to do uh so uh hopefully for arc's sake he makes it up there and finds that lamp before too long yeah definitely wonder when he's going to make the play for it because if you don't go to it right away you're committing to not coming back for a while I suppose it's possible, given that we have the cape, um, that he is planning on uh, doing this and then the North Dark World swing, right? Doing this and then, well, he can't, but no mirror and no boots, so can't do any of the other uh, checks up there. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when he makes it back there. He's committing to skipping it, so. Yeah, it's interesting to see the little bit of divergence when both runners first jumped into the Dark World. And uh, some more divergence right now as Timp is going to Death Warp out of uh, out of Thieves Town and Arcturus is going to clear the back of it. Uh, I happen to know uh, that Arc got, uh, got beat by something being on uh, Green Pendant Blind uh, in our first match. Um, the green pendant had uh, had ether at Saha, which was necessary to complete the seed, and so uh, it's possible that Ark is um, is uh, going against that. And it's like, ah, I didn't, I, I got beat the other day, 
uh, for not doing the back of pendant fees. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, that's fair. Those little things tend to stick with you. So, you know, lots of uh, lots of things to think about. Yeah, like it's just, like logically it's not it's not the case, right? Like it has no bearing whatsoever on 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 the next seed, but man does it feel bad. Yeah, it just sits with you and burn. Yeah, I can't blame anybody for doing that. Tim finds an ice rod there from Stumpy. That's necessary. We don't have to go hunting for that. That's really nice. Always nice to never hunt for the ice rod, that's for sure. Because it can be in some pretty funny places. <laughs> Basically <at times. laughs> anywhere. So, yeah. As we head over into Hype Cave. We've already had some pretty Hype Caves, but there are... Plenty of things that could be in Hype Cave that would make it Hype. Uh, let's see if we get any of it and where our runners are headed next. Both runners have to be hoping for maybe a bow at this point. Right. It's like not much there though. Okay, so no bow, but you have the hammer and the lamp. Do you go into Crystal Pod here? Oh, a lot of checks. It's definitely got to be sitting there thinking about it, especially with the lamp. You know the bat. You know the dark rooms and logic as well. I might do it. I think I. I like. I'm normally. So people talk about their least favorite checks, right? Like Bumper Ledge or Mimic Cave or Graveyard Ledge. This is my least favorite check in the game. Uh, is the Pyramid Ledge. I hate this check so much. I don't know why, but I just like always leave it until the last possible second. But in this case, I actually really like Timp going here and looking at it. It's just a piece of heart, uh, but uh, to just give yourself every shot to not have to double dip pod. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. Uh, and taking the looks like going to take the long walk up to Catfish. That's my most hated check in the entire game. A very defensible one. Unfortunately for Ark, uh, looks like uh, all that he's going to have to show from the back of Thieves is a pendant. Uh, so nothing going, nothing going there. And it is headed south, going to miss that lamp in Skull Woods. Ooh, at this point, you've got to wonder when Ark is going to consider routing that back in. Probably at this point, you're committing to just about making your, one of your last Dark World locations. Absolutely. And and with that with that knowledge that Aga is going to be required, going to need that lamp. You can do it. You can do it with the with the fire rod, right? It is possible. I don't know if Ark can. Um, but Pet is still alive. Plenty of things that can be on Pedestal as well. Catfish has the mirror. Oh, my. Oh, does that check pay off for Temp? Big time. This is why I like Catfish more than Pyramid Ledge, right? Because you can mirror from Catfish somewhere useful. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Get this out of the way. That is a rude place for that, though. Because you might be thinking with the flippers, with the flippers on, uh, on the Aga Ledge, right? You know, you might be thinking, like, oh, man, do I really want to go up to Catfish without the mirror and without the flippers? Well, there's the mirror, uh, which, again, is going to be is hard required by this seed with Swamp Palace as a crystal. <laughs> King Zora not helping out, though. An expensive life lesson. Seriously. Yeah, Tim didn't want all that money anyway. Sure, why not? All right, where are you headed with that mirror? Pod. Sure, why not? Makes sense. Clear out two dungeons once with the mirror, and you might stumble on the bow in one of them. Yeah, if you find a bow over here uh, in, in Potter Eastern, that's huge. 
And uh, Timp has not been to uh, Saha yet either, I believe. Uh, so uh, that makes this check uh, even better uh, for him because he's, he gets to nicely route that in uh, this away with the mirror. Yeah, very nice when you have the mirror and you can clear out the entire Eastern pot area in one shot. Looks like Hark uh, took a left turn there and is headed up, gonna check Pyramid Ledge. Hopefully for his sake, he heads up to Catfish, gets that mirror as well. Uh, yeah, uh, Dapper Warman in chat. Thinking about getting that waterfall uh, though, that is a good point. Uh, maybe that's a bow, right? Like maybe the bow is flippers locked. Um, and with the flute, uh, there, that's not a, uh, not a, not a, a slow check. That's pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded that. Yeah, that's a fair point for sure. I was trying to think about what other, what other checks that opens up with the mirror. At this point, it's really just, um, Graveyard Legend K45. And with where you were up there not worth it to go through all of that i would say but here we are in palace of darkness five items temp uh no bow but does have a potion so can sequence break his way into the back if necessary and art is headed up to catfish we'll get that mirror pod is not bow locked though no, we're gonna go in a little bit further here without having to burn a potion or mimic clip them out. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, this is really good for Ark, uh, who's a couple minutes behind at this point, uh, and uh, is gonna get that uh, mirror here from Catfish. That's really good. Uh, tip straight to the back of Pod. Interesting. Didn't even check the Stalfos basement. Yeah, definitely interesting. Just committing to going where more more chests are, I guess. I get. Yeah, I, I suppose I understand that, especially with the lamp, right? But also, um, I feel like I would miscount keys if I did this. <laughs> so there's a shovel. Ugh. That's gross. Although it does make K45 a little bit of a more attractive check. Now you get two out of that. Yeah, that's fair. Never thought of it that way. Is Ark getting his life lesson there? We see Timp in the Dark Maze. He's gotten, I believe, two items out of here. There's a bow! It's a bow in pod! Classic! Never fails. <laughs> and the mitts! Yo! Wow. <laughs> That's huge. Odd that open up. Ark is headed back to the Kakariko portal. Uh, looks like gonna get that lamp uh, here in Skull Woods. That's good that Ark headed back there. That'll work in Ark's favor that head back there a lot earlier than uh, I would have expected. Unless it's gonna work into just bumper, bumper ledge in North Dark World and not commit to Skull Woods. But at this point, I think you have to dip it. I can't imagine doing that, yeah. But I do, you know, it's like now that you have the mirror, you do get to check Graveyard Ledge out of this, which Timp has has pretty seriously uh, isolated uh, until he gets the boots. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, some some real as as, as Dapper Wormman put it in chat, real galaxy brain routing of by Timp here going to the back before doing the rest of Pod. Although does need a key here before going. Oh no. All right, good. He figured it out. He does need a, he he still needs a key, uh, so he's gonna have to get that over here in the front. Yeah, I'll just take a quick fall down here and then head to the back and visit King Helmosaur. We did get a Bombos medallion over there as well. Oh, and this is unfortunate as well. Ark, uh, perhaps 
uh, is doing, I think, what the 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 right play here is normally, which is if you've got if if you're if you're thinking about maybe beating Mothula, go do it first, right? Uh, not gonna work out uh, for him, at least in terms of the item layout in Skull Woods uh, for right now, uh, because both of those items are in the front, but. Uh, he already has one pendant from Thieves, so, and this is the green pendant, so you will get an item out of the Mothula fight no matter what. Uh, so, uh, perhaps thinking about that, maybe a hedge against a pedestal, uh, as well, at some point as well. Yeah, and it does make it feel better, as you said, with the green pendant, the bonus item, if you will. Question for you, if... You're temping after you finish pod in Eastern. Do you just head right over and get Aga done then? I might still wait until I have the boots. Um, but I think about it for sure. You know what? No, at this point, there's there's too much open to me still. I'm I'm waiting until I get the boots. Um, I think getting those mitts. Uh, my next check is the mire area i would think yeah i uh i would tend to agree that with the flute and everything mire looks good and there's quite often that the key for mire whether it's the other medallion or king of samaria is just under the doormat yeah i'd also think real hard about um secret breaking ice palace at this point Yeah, that's fair. At this point, you've got all the tools for it. I yeah. Think you can ask for. Except for Samaria, you know. Um, but I, I think that, like, if I had came to Samaria, I, I think where I would be headed right now is Turtle Rock. So. Yeah, the old adage: if you can get into Turtle Rock, go. It's probably something there. So. Round two for Ark and the Moth here. Hammer Moth is no joke. Uh, but uh, Timp takes down Helmosaur King. That's done. That is crystal number uh, two for Timp. Ooh, and the moth has got Ark's number yet again. Unfortunately, oh. that never feels good. No, it doesn't. And uh, and this, is, I mean, I've I've done that. <laughs> you know, I, I I mentioned it. It's like I have lost many a race to thinking, oh, I can. I got eight hearts and and the hammer. I can do moth, and then dying over and over again. So. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that, that moth sometimes I think might win Ganon's employee of the week. <laughs> so uh hope we know at least that both items are in the front uh of of skull wood so it's really just that green pendant gonna be in the back of ark's mind at this point fortunately when ark does get the lamp it'll lead to a few different directions so maybe it won't uh won't burn a place in his brain. Hopefully. The arrow of destiny there in the compass chest. Map chest? I don't remember. The one on the right. Yeah, I can't remember which one that is either. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the map chest. I think the map comes first uh, in the first couple dungeons, and then it switches to the compass. That seems right. We'll go with that. <laughs> sure. Map chest. Good. Thank you. Alright, that's our second item. I don't think that we've seen the big key yet, so this is probably our our vanilla big key here. 
in Eastern Palace. Oh, the big key was the first chest. Okay. So, uh, we're still looking for uh, one more item then. Uh, Temp going to the vanilla big key chest. Uh, I hate skipping this chest. I always I always open it, and it's always the freaking compass, and I always feel bad about it, but I do it every time. No, unless you know that there's nothing back here, it, it, you just have to do it. Taking that 50-50 gamble at some points just doesn't feel right. At least in my eyes, anyway. Yeah, and there's the compass, and we head to the back. <laughs> Ark has his lamp. Takes a death warp out of Skull Woods. Gonna go check Bumper Ledge, presumably. And I would think. Oh, saves and quits. Interesting. I don't know that I agree with that. I think I would have gone and checked Bumper Ledge and uh, and Graveyard Ledge there. Not gonna be many better times. Uh, but is making the Aga play right away. Yeah, or deciding just to get Aga done and out of the way. I guess if you're headed to Pod and Eastern next anyway. That's fine. You know, you got you got seven hearts. You got Master Sword. This is more than you would have in NMG. That's all right. Oh, yeah, it'll work out fine. You've got the Fire Rod to rely on if you get in any sure. sort of real trouble to take something down. But with what tools they have available, it should be a problem. The dinner bell strat. Oh, didn't wait quite long enough there. Have to do some fire rod shots. Uh, if you don't know, uh, the way to do that is you uh, clink your sword against the door and then wait for the uh, guard's feet to overlap. Then you release the sword spin and uh, you uh, hit them twice and you're good. Uh, and while I was talking, Timp killed Armos Knights. So good for him. Yeah, beautiful quick kill on the Armos Knights. Executed to perfection. I don't know why that quick kill gives me so much trouble. It shouldn't, but it does. All right, where is Timp headed next? It is Meyer, making me look real smart. I'll have to thank him about that later. I was about to say, you may, as well, you may want to give Timp a thanks there after. <laughs> That looked like Quake? That I was think? Quake, I believe. Ooh, interesting. Spicy. A bottle and a book there in the Meyer shed. Hmm. That book's always suspicious. Indeed. Just bombs in Checkerboard Cave. Uh, now, I was about to say, are you, if, if you're Timp, do you dip desert here? But looks like the answer is no. Yeah, at least not at this point. I mean, Timp not having done Nagina's Cave yet, I guess that makes perfect sense. Gotta be thinking about it, but there's plenty of other locations you can still head. Sure. It's gonna walk out and flew away. And this is pretty pretty close time wise, I think. Saving and quitting versus uh, versus fluting there. All right, Ark is headed up into uh, the Aga fight. If you like, you can guess how many blue balls he's going to shoot. Number between zero and fifteen. You can put it in the chat. I'm gonna go with five. What about yourself? Uh, zero. I always guess zero. Screw Aga. <laughs> That's really nice of you. <laughs> Definitely feeling for the runners. Yeah. I'll, I always want zero when I'm playing, so here we go. This is very true. Have you ever had a 15? No. No. There we go. And I lost, and I like to know whether I lose right away. Uh, Timp headed up to Dark Death Mountain. There's two blue balls. 
three. Rude. Four. All right. <laughs> We're headed there. Oh, and there's the boots in Super Bunny Cave! Ooh, wow. Temp firmly in the driver's seat at this point, I would say. Yeah, Temp making all the right decisions, everything falling his way. That's gotta feel great when you keep just falling into the items. Yep, just need, all we need now is Quake and the Cane of Samaria for Go Mode on Temp's side. Hookshot cape a bust, though. Timp knowing that Meyer is the Quake medallion and having the other two medallions doesn't care about checking the uh, TR medallion, so heads right over. Gonna check that Ether tablet. And then presumably Spike Cave after that. A stream hiccup. I did not see what hap what came down off of Ether Tablet. As did I, so if anyone in chat can help us out there, that'd be great. <laughs> A lot of love. Arc and going back through the CAC portal. Heart container there in Spike Cave. Not sure where, what Ark is thinking at this point. Maybe another uh, another run at Mothula? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if that's uh, right, not right there. With the mirror, though, guys, you could come around, check bumper ledge, get your bumpers in there. It's a lot of different options, I guess. Temp in uh, with those boots is going to King's Tomb. I probably would have gone and done Aga first uh, here rather than doing uh, King's Tomb and Bonk Rocks, considering that you have to come back up to this area to check uh, lumber to get the flippers off a of lumberjack anyway. You know, then maybe you can do this in the dark world. Oh, we see Blue Mail up on Bumper Ledge, uh, which looks like Ark is going to pick up. Nice safety to grab, especially with the seed not handing out an awful lot of hearts yet. Yep. All right, nothing from the boots checks. Timp flutes away. Over to three. Is this Smith Chain K45, all that fun stuff for Timp? Uh, maybe with a, a, a detour over to Graveyard Ledge first. Yeah. That seems plausible. No, no, no Graveyard Ledge. Screw Graveyard Ledge. We're doing Smith Chain. Yeah, you can loop in the shovel here as well. I like it. Although I might, you know, I still... Mmm. Mmm. I still would do Aga at this point. Get those slippers, because you can full clear Swamp. And Ice, for that matter. Uh, so I think I would probably do both of those before doing this at this point. Yeah, definitely. I'm at, I'd be at that point if, if that I would be wanting to get Aga over with now. Open everything up. Uh, the kind of always be clearing the crystal dungeons mantra um but uh you know Timp is gonna 
end up back towards the Lynx House area here. Uh, maybe he's looking for Kane of Samaria. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to head into. Oh, didn't? Did Timp get the item from the Smiths? It, I don't think Timp got the item from the Smiths. Yeah, no, I'm not sure either. I missed it if Timp grabbed it. Oh, hey there. Uh, thanks for the raid uh, from Zelda Speedruns 2 with a party of 33 coming over here uh, from the, uh, the Chelsea Zaruvian match. Welcome. This is uh, Timp versus Arcturus Chusky. My name is Tyler Saul. I'm here on the mic with TJ Jall. Hi, everybody. Welcome. And uh, yeah, Timp just uh, turned in the Smiths, but did not get the item. So hopefully that doesn't hopefully that doesn't uh, that doesn't bite him. Big story here uh, in this race about an hour in time for a reset. Anyway, we got flippers on lumberjack. Uh, the uh, boots are up in uh, in Super Bunny Cave, and there is a bow in Pod. So, you know, lots of fun for our runners. Uh, having a good time watching them go through it here. We have confirmation that the Temp did indeed not get the item from the black uh, from the blacksmiths. So on Tim's side, we're looking for uh, just the Cane of Samaria. We know where the flippers are. They're on Lumberjack. Has Tim... Oh, has Tim checked that? Both of our runners have checked Lumberjack, right? Yeah, both runners have. Okay, good. Tim also on the hunt for the Quake Medallion still. That's right. Oh, and there's our other mail upgrade on uh, Bombo's tablet. That's right. We need uh, we need Kane Samaria and Quake. Quake required for Misery Meyer. And uh, Timp is headed up to uh, to take down Aga. Yeah, it seems like the good play here at this point. You can grab your flippers and then, you know, work your way through Swamp or Ice, whichever one you choose first. Yeah, probably Swamp first uh, in, in this case. Still looking for the Cane of Samaria. I know that Timp uh, is is plenty uh, is plenty familiar with the bomb uh, diver down uh, setup. So in, in this case, you're still looking for the Cane. You know you need it. Maybe you go to Swamp first uh, and in the hopes that the Cane of Samaria is in there and you can use that in Ice Palace. Yeah, definitely uh, fair for sure. And yeah, the big question here is when is Ark going to head over to Pod and Eastern? Not yet uh, is the answer, which just seems like a wrong move. Uh, over in Palace of Darkness, uh, we have not only a bow, uh, but also uh, the Titan Smiths. So uh, Ark is going to be pretty stuck here until he gets that. Although he he did uh, take a death here to Mothula uh, a little while ago, uh, so perhaps is going here to take down Moth, um, thinking that all right, gonna turn in that green pendant. I already have the pendant from Thieves. I'm hedging against a, a ped play. I'm gonna go take down Moth, get that green pendant before I head over and do Pod. Yeah, definitely fair. I mean, unfinished business for Ark on this run, so. Uh, makes sense, especially if you've been playing the seed the way Ark has it. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, his decisions have not worked out for him today. Uh, Tim pretty firmly in the driver's seat at this point. Yeah, unless Kane of Samaria is on the pedestal. Yeah, or on the green pendant. Um, 
Yeah, I mean that would that would be a big swing in the race for sure. Weirder things have happened, that's for damn sure. Oh, definitely. Tim headed into his blue ball fest aga. Eight or nine blue balls coming at you. All right, folks, where is this Canis of Mario? What do you think? Where are we, uh, where are we going to find this thing? Uh, I'm going to go with Ice Palace myself. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Man, this game sure does love to put the Canis of Mario in that vanilla big, uh, big key chest in Ice Palace. Uh, I, I've gotten it there a distressingly large number of times. Some less side swamp love in chat. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've had it in that uh, big key chest. It's ice plenty of times, too. It almost makes me want to go back out and just clip through the wall just <laughs> because I found it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I did it. <laughs> I want to do the thing. Can't say I blame you. Oh, red cane on, on, on blacksmiths would be very rude. Poor Tim. Yeah, that... Uh... Yeah, that would sting a little. That'd be a bad, that'd be a bad beat for sure. <laughs> All right. Round three with Moth goes Ark's Way. And he is bit. making the play into Pod Eastern. That's good news for him. Yeah, definitely heading in the right direction. Meanwhile, Timp is still in this Aga fight. Come on, man. Well, you know, Aga's just trying to get the uh, bigger bang for his buck. Yeah, just want to maximize that screen time. Maybe Ganon pays him by the minute or something. Mm. Well, canonically, isn't Aghanim just Ganon? I believe so, yeah. I think you're you right. defeated Aghanim, my other self. Oh no, uh, Lumaga in chat. Timp lost an earlier match this way, marked off the back, back of escape, but didn't check it. That would be... What a what a terrible way to lose. Oh, that wouldn't feel good. Saha having the sword upgrade for us, so Ark will be a little more offensively loaded coming in here. All right. So not... not... Not the sort of payoff you were looking for from, from that much time investment on Mafia, but at least it wasn't a big 20. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, going through a few of these dungeons left with Tempered Sword does feel a little bit better. Absolutely. Tim headed up to get his flippers, promptly headed over into Swamp or Ice. Afterwards... Uh, we do know. Oh, never mind. I was about to say the pet is dead, but it's not. Never mind. Yeah, the odds of it being something are low, but not quite dead yet. Could easily still have Quake or the Cane of Samaria. At this point, that's what Ark has to be hoping for. Um, has two pendants in hand to Timp's zero, uh, and uh, that has to be on Ark's mind, uh, that something required being on Ped could save this race for him, for sure. Or at least put him right back in it. Yeah, we definitely pull things closer, for sure. Timp headed into Swamp Palace. 
six items here. Yeah, I like this play, Chase the Density, when you know you're looking for two things to uh, get into go. Absolutely, especially when one of them came to Smaria is going to make Ice Palace that much faster. Do you check left side here? Do you dive her down? Um, at this point, I think I would. I think I would commit to the full clear. It's definitely faster if you do it. Um, you know, and and doing it first is faster. There's an item uh, we see in the uh, bottom of a wall chest in Swamp. I tend to play this by ear. Like if I get the if I get two items in the first two chests, I will just go straight to the back. But if I get a dungeon item there. I'll skip it. But uh, I know Temp is comfortable with Bomb Diver down. Uh, Temp was uh, one of my teammates in League, uh, and uh, he helped me nail that down. He made, he did the smart thing and uh, helped and uh, did it where you uh, you learn the bomb setup um, because you might not have the Kane of Samaria. You know, always said bombs. I was like, oh, Kane of Samaria. I'll learn that setup. Uh, that was dumb. I did the exact same thing as you. I still, to this day, <laughs> do not know the bomb set up properly. It's not that bad. I, like, it, you know, I know it now, but uh, I do know that Temp is plenty familiar with it. There is two heart containers in the first two chests. We'll see what Temp does here. Is going to head over and dive her down and check the left side. Arc getting that bow can't feel good. About to get those Titans mitts as well. Yeah, definitely not going to feel great, but uh, knowing that Ag has done a few other things, you're not going to feel horrible. The brief hesitation there before opening the menu tells a, such a good story. Everything that you need to know about, about how he's feeling at the moment. There we go. Nice diver down there from Temp. Always such a handy little trick. It's always so fun to watch. I was uh, on mic uh, during League Season 2. I was coming a race when that announcement came up uh, that Diver Down and Icebreaker were legalized, and that was a fun moment uh, to be able to, to react to that live. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're good. We'll see if it pays off here. Heart container number three in Swamp Palace. So just the, uh, ha the Swamp Palace of love and explosions so far. <laughs> Timp now hoping that the big key is locked in the big chest. Yeah, if it's not, you come right back in. I, uh, man, I probably wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I probably wouldn't either. I think I'd rush ice. Well, there's the big key. And there's Samaria, so there we go. Uh, and Timp is going to head back up. Samaria in the diver down room, almost as rude as Samaria in the icebreaker room. Timp running into the wall a couple times in confusion. Was that bonk necessary to uh, avoid 
going back down the stairs. Maybe it was. I never remember how to fix that with that stairway. No, neither do I, so it could be onto something, that's for sure. I believe there was an item in the big chest, though, so uh, good call to go do it there. Helma down for Ark, getting a crystal for his trouble. We'll head into Eastern Palace shortly as Timp is taking on Argus, getting some double spins. Very nice. Or double puffs. Yeah, always nice, especially when you've got to come in here with Master Sword You can when you can pull those off. I can never get two puffs. I always poke and lose it and get angry. That's fair. I feel like that probably happens to most of us. <laughs> Four spins into Argus, and he is down. Gives us a compass. We are just looking for that Quake medallion. Where will it be? Yeah. Um, I guess the seed at this point can now be rude and put it in Turtle Rock. Oh, yeah. That is entirely possible. Hopefully the seed is nice and uh, TR is quick. Uh, and so uh, we actually can't get in there. Yeah, that would be real polite of it. Tim looks like he's going to set up a water walk here. Go check Hobo. Sure. Why not? And I guess Waterfall Fairy hasn't been checked yet. Uh... Yes, I believe that's the case. I think I still would do Ice Palace before doing either of these checks. Yeah, you can always come out in mirror and then do them. You do have the flippers, so. Right. Oh, but there's the Quake Medallion on Hobo at 1 hour and 16 minutes and 45 seconds. Timp is in go mode. This go mode is brought to you by the Go Mode Podcast, a link to the past randomizer podcast available wherever fine podcasts are sold. Wow, what a check. What a galaxy brain play by Timp. Not really. It's not really galaxy brain, but... There we go. Smiths are dead. Long live the Smiths. That's the new, that's the new hot meta. Turn into Smiths, but don't get the item. <laughs> yeah, just bring them home, but that's it. <laughs> Ice Palace is always one of those one of those ones that feels great to just be able to go mode it and move through it super quick. Oh yeah. Chests. <laughs> Who needs them? Yeah, especially at this point. You, you've got enough to go, you might stumble on Silver's or a sword upgrade in GT, so. That that you know what though? Here in Ice, I am gonna check the chests that are right next to me. Right? 
uh i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna check this chest here the vanilla big key chest i probably won't check the h chest but i will check the the spike room chest you know i'll check the freezor chest because it's right there um without uh if i had tempered sword already i would not um but uh you know these chests are right along the way and tempered versus master is enough of a difference that i'm i'm looking for tempered sword here yeah, definitely, and as you said, they're right in your path, so. And there it is. So, <laughs> no more chests for Tim. <laughs> nope. Now it's just time to go. Ice Palace giveth, and Ice Palace taketh away. But today giveth, mostly. Just very nice of it. Tempered Sword also makes such a difference on Cold Stare. Absolutely. Alright, Ark has got to make his way up to Dark Death Mountain here before too long. Uh, going back into the Dark World, perhaps going to dip into Desert first. Uh, not sure what's in there, but it's not going to be anything useful. Yeah, at this point, uh, you might find a, might find the silvers and some sort of quality of life item, but yeah, nothing else we're going to But yeah, but that's about it. And nothing, unfortunately, yeah. Really needs to make his way up to Dark Death Mountain for those boots in Super Bunny Cave. Down goes Cold Stare. Temp is up to five crystals here. Almost assuredly going to head over to Misery Mire next. are not going to give anything because it is boots locked. Well, that's good for Ark's sake. I guess it makes sense for Ark to dip that considering that he has gone all in on that on that pe on that pedestal play, you know? But uh, unfortunately, we know that that is not the answer here. But luckily, he is headed up to Dark Death Mountain. Not sure what else uh, what else there is for him to do at, uh, at this point, and gonna get those boots out of Super Bunny Cave. Tim coming into Meyer too here with sword beams. This is always nice. You love to see it. Like, there are faster strats, for sure, uh, through that room that use the cane or the fire rod, but just, just sword beaming everything is very satisfying, I find. Yeah, I have to completely agree with you. It's something to do it, something to see it. It's it's just great. <laughs> All right, do we have a Godmire uh, here? There are Ark's boots. Didn't see what it was in that chest, but we'll figure it out before too long. It was the big key, because uh, we're headed to Vidi. Godmire. Oh, always a great feeling. <laughs> always a great feeling. Setting up for Spooky. By the way, if you don't know what the name of that glitch is a reference to, it's fantastic. Uh, spooky action at a distance is how Albert Einstein 
described quantum entanglement. And I just love that that is the name of a glitch in this in this game. That's great. I love it. I actually didn't know that. So yeah. Thank you for that. That's My great. pleasure. Spooky action at a distance. It's so great because m m so many speedrun. This this is my this is my hobby horse. So many speedrunner like trick names are like, oh man, this is giant skip. We call that because it lets you skip the giant. Um, and I hate that. So I love that this game has like actually good names for uh, its tricks, like spooky and like icebreaker. It's good. Yeah, definitely. It uh, it's just not the super easy and obvious stuff. Just like that, Tim up to six crystals, Vinny goes down. Yep, and we're headed to Turtle Rock. And then a gate, a, a date with Ganon. Not sure why Timp used neither the cape nor the bow in that fight, but here we are. Still effective one way or the other, but... Sure. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to do spins against Vinny, if you're going to do the, the, the NMG damage boost spin strat, uh, you got to go in there with the sword facing to the side. Lamo says, I like glitch names along the lines of funny auto walk thing or flailing like an idiot technology. I also approve of both of those names. I'd be all for those. Yeah, no, I'd go all in on those for sure. That sounds that sounds more accurate, like my version of playing this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like funny auto walk thing sounds familiar to me. So, yeah. I guess the question we've got for Timp now is, will Turtle Rock make us do Laser Bridge? Guess we'll find out. It's Bombos by Quick Medallion just for Misery Mire. See if Ark heads over to uh, the left side of Swamp. Yeah, at this point, must be feeling maybe a little bit behind after finding those items. So yeah, might just head right to the back, which would be rewarding and find some Aria. Yep, that would be the right play for sure. Also, don't know if Ark. Uh, nose diver down. We'll see. Ark knows the bomb setup, so we'll see oh, that. Good. One. Tim deciding to face tank the rollers. Just use the cape. You have quick swap. Quick swap to the cape. That's the best part about quick swap. Oh well. But it's an extra button to hit. Ah. Those things hurt, man. <laughs> yeah, they do leave a mark. Oh, 
I'll tell you what else leaves a mark is those chain chomps. Yeah, I mentioned the moth being the employee of the month. It might be the chain chomps. Eight hearts of damage on green mail. As much as Ganon. <laughs> no, or, or it's just four on green mail. I think it's just four on green mail from those guys. But still. Still. That's enough, especially if you're in a different type of seed where you ha you're forced to come into Turtle Rock with nothing. Yep. Hey there, main tournament. How are you guys doing? Yeah, Temp just disrespecting the magic cape all over the place in this seed. First try diver down over on the left hand side for Ark. So you say no capes. My my joke name for the light speed mode. So there's light, the light speed mode, right, uh, which was developed by Kern, uh, where the goal is to, it's, it's, it's rando, but it's just the light world. You get the three pendants from the light world dungeons and you beat Aga, and that's the end of the game. That uh, there's one Triforce piece on the, the pyramid ledge. I've always joked uh, that the, the, the other name for that mode should be the Edna mode, uh, because uh, there are no capes. The cape is not in the item pool. <laughs> I like it. Great. I see that we had a mirror shield in the vanilla location. That's we fun. We did. Hey, screw you, Laser Bridge. I want nothing to do with you today. Or not, just go, it's fine. Let me look for silvers. Yeah, definitely looking for some sort of quality of life item. I guess you've got the, the mirror shield. May as well use it for the one place in the entire game it's useful. And you get the almighty bug net out of the deal, so. This is when I get to go off on my uh, on my pet peeve about this game is that the mirror shield does not block Beamos beams. Why? Why does it not block beams from Beamos? I, I've always wondered the same thing. It just makes no sense. S such BS. I hate it. <laughs> Uh, so get your numbers ready. We're about to play a little game, and there's not going to be much time uh, to put in your guesses for the uh, Gans Tower Big Key Guessing Game uh, here. There are... Don't put them in chat yet. i got to wait for the bot, though. Uh, there are 22 locations in the basement of Gannon's Tower. You can guess a number once the bot goes between 0 and 22 for where you think the big key is going to be. And uh, you win some internet points, which are the most important thing in the world if you get it right. TJ, what is going to be your guess? If you want to, if you want to say it out loud before the bot starts, it's up to you. I'll say it out loud. I always go with thirteen. Lucky thirteen. I'm a ten man myself. Yeah, that's that's nice of you. Definitely being nicer to the runners. Way better than always just going 22 and hoping for tile room. 
Hey, you know, uh, I was watching a, a matchup, the matchup between uh, Frostbite and Will WC in the main tournament uh, through two games. The big key had been in Tile Room twice. So you never know. Yeah, actually, both of my races so far in this were the same way. I actually gambled, <laughs> gambled on Tile Room one time after full clearing left, and it was there. So Heck yeah. a little bit of time. Tactically, that's the right move. All right, get your guesses in, folks. Game will close shortly. All right, here we go. Hope Room, number one, 50 rupees. Number two is the Cane of Burna. No right side for Timp. No mirror for Timp either. I don't know. It's weird, but here we are. Yeah, definitely a little bit different, but still works. Number three, 50 rupees on the torch. Bob lives. Number four is three bombs. Number five, a small key. Number six, a small key. And number seven, three bombs. Very symmetrical room there. Timp continuing on left side. Saw so a nice smooth icebreaker there from Ark. And a mushroom in the fire bar room. Classic. Aw, uh, no boomerangs. No boomerang strats today. I, you know, take, sometimes just take that nice ECT Samaria strat, just move on through. I like to give the boomerangs some love. Big key at the witch's hut. <laughs> Number nine is a small key. Big number 10 here coming up rando room. Oh, 10, 11, 12, 13, whole lot of nothing. We continue on. So we both lost. Yeah. Half magic's a nice consolation prize, though. Sure. So now all we're looking for uh, to avoid claims that the big key guessing game is rigged is for 16 to not come up for DFS. Number 14 here in Bob's chest. Hey, Bob. The compass. I wonder, I wonder if Bob ever just feels like getting out of the tower for a little bit. <laughs> When's his shift over? <laughs> it's a living. Is what Bob says. <laughs> like the <laughs> like the can opener in their Flintstones. <laughs> I heard that voice in my head as you said that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real timely reference by yeah, me there. It's good. Dating, dating myself a little bit. It's a living. <laughs> 15, a vanilla big key there in Ganon's Tower. And uh, congratulations uh, to uh, Gubernier, probably. I don't know. Might be French. I'm not sure. Uh, for uh, winning the uh, Gans Tower Big Key Guessing Game, you win 15 points for your game guess of 15. 
and uh, congratulations. Good for you. You can turn those in uh, wherever fine podcasts are sold, uh, uh, sold for a uh, an episode of the Good Mood of uh, the Go Mode podcast. So you just see uh, Ark getting his Quake Medallion from the Hobo. He is in Go Mode at 138. At this point, uh, Tim just getting ready to enter the gauntlet here and uh, hopefully make quick work of everything on the way up. Yep, we've got that bow out with one arrow left. What will he use it on? Probably nothing. Oh, okay, never mind. There goes the drama. He picked up some more. Yeah, the arrow hype is over. It was fun while it lasted. Was it? No, no, it was stupid. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, it could be a good time. Do you open the chests on the way up trying to find silvers or at this point? Nah, just commit, you got tempered. Just commit, just commit to tempered. I want tempered or silvers. I don't need both. And I tip feels the same way, I'm pretty sure. Remembering from our league days. Yeah, that's fair. It makes perfect sense to me. We didn't do very well in the league. Um, but Timp did win the two matches that we won. Uh, shout out to the long shots uh, in, in in this season. So uh, he knows what he's doing. Just catching that whiz robe there with the sword right at the end of the cycle, that was really nice. Mark moving through Mire here, that uh, my most hated room in Mire has got to be that shooter room, even with a lamp. Absolutely. Timpy is looking for those silver arrows. Two spins on a mold worm. Down he goes. It's nice to see the big worm play friendly for Tim. Arc uh, pulling out the cape, having a, uh, a, a much smoother uh, Vitreous fight than Tim did, for sure. Yeah, opting to use the bow as well. And Tim headed into the Aga 2 fight. Just one hit on the first cycle. Ooh, split the difference there, unfortunately. Yeah, Aga not making the agonometry fun today. Here was one. I use these spins, man. time it lines up nicely for a double. Aga doesn't cooperate, throws a blue ball. There he goes, though. Aga 
get down, the duck will come give us a lift, and we'll uh, go into the pyramid for a pig roast. That sounds delicious. It's a little late in our time zone, but uh, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't argue a pig roast at this time of night. No, I mean, you know, if you're gonna put it in front of me, it's fine. Back off, buddy. No, you back off, Ganon. Him through phase one. Oof. Ooh. One extra hug there. But, joke's on you. He's got a fairy. That's one of the worst spots for Ganon to be. That lower right spot. Yeah, not a lot you can do with it, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, phase three. Here we go. Lumangan Chat said Tim's got two fairies. Pops a blue potion there to be absolutely sure. Tim still does not care about the magic cape at all. No, it's just a figment of the imagination, I think. The imaginary cape. I didn't catch where the silvers were, did you? No, I didn't. Probably in his tower. Probably in compass room or something. sure to get torch glitch to make this uh spin to win cycle that much that much easier yep he managed it not gonna get triples uh using the lamp there but it'll be okay It's a nice and comfy strat through here. You know, you know you're not going to accidentally miss the torch somewhere along the way, but with half magic. And down goes Ganon. Twelve spins. Get your GGs in chat for Temp. In the home game takes game one of this best of three matchup. Timp will be the winner with an official race time GT time of one hour, 47 minutes and 15 seconds. GG's to Timp. We did see uh, that uh, Ark noticed uh, the time and decided to, uh, to forfeit uh, shortly thereafter. So we should be uh, joined by both of these fellas uh, here uh, shortly for an interview, but GG's uh, to Temp and to Ark. GG's to, to Temp and Ark. It was uh, quite a race. What a seed. What a seed. And we are joined by both of our runners, uh, Temp, Ark, uh, GG's to both of you. GG's. Hey, GG's. GG's, guys. Timp, I want to start with you. I have one very specific question for you. Do you remember what was on the Smiths? Um, oh, man. Gosh, I don't even remember what was on the Smiths. You know why I you don't... don't remember? 
Why? Because you didn't get the item. You just dropped off the Smiths and went and got the purple chest Oops. and noped right out. <laughs> you know, I was wondering why that was still lit up on my tracker. I was like, hmm, some sort of uh, glitch in the tracker there. Let me yep, just go yep, ahead and that's pick exactly it up. What it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, so what was it? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, God. Oof. I can't believe that didn't come back and bite me. <laughs> we were Ooh. really worried about that. Um, but uh, but your 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 thoughts uh, first, Timp, and then Ark uh, on this seed generally. Well, the first thing I want to say is a huge thank you to my opponent and to the restream crew. We initially scheduled this uh, for nine thirty, and then they bump, bumped it back to ten at my request. So I really appreciate that. And I have to give a huge shout out and uh, happy birthday to my wife, uh, who wow. was so kind, so so kind to let me play this. Uh, a race on her birthday wow uh, and, yeah and the extra time was, was very much appreciated so i want to thank her love you baby <laughs> and uh uh thanks to everyone for for putting up with the delay big shout outs to mrs Tim. yes absolutely um i see a question in chat about how i knew how to route the best but i really did not i just decided that i wanted to follow the keys and try to go straight to the back got super lucky with the big key um and then follow that through and then you know uh, yeah, it was, it's probably one of the best pods I've ever done, but uh, that was uh, just the latest in a string of really terrible pods, uh, which is how I normally do it. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, great seed overall. I, I had I had a fun time. I thought it was a uh, pretty straightforward. I felt like I got lucky a lot. Um, but yeah, overall de decent seed. And then arc your thoughts as well. Uh, Mothiel and I aren't on speaking terms. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Getting, getting baited into doing both Thieves and uh, Skull was uh, definitely not good for my time. <laughs> and was, uh, was our first race in the back of your mind when doing yeah, the back of Thieves? It absolutely yeah, was. Yeah. Absolutely was. Um, and uh, Armos Knights, for whatever reason, I don't know, getting bonked by them and then trying to struggle through that. Um, Avoiding pod was definitely my downfall, though. Uh, I didn't want to go into pod without a boat, and totally understandable. Was in pod. Yeah. <laughs> Makes perfect yeah. sense. I'm like, I don't want to go in there for potentially one check, and then uh, lo and behold, that's where I needed to go. But yeah. uh, overall, fun seed. Uh, had had a really good time. Uh, GG's again, Tim. Uh, happy birthday to your wife. Uh, <laughs> thank you for taking some time away from that to to run this race, but. Uh, yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, this was a fun one. Yeah, and and thanks to the crew and and yeah, to uh, to you, Ark. Yeah, it was it was a good one. I was thinking about you the whole time. Uh, I I wanted to say congratulations on your first restream. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Very good. Yeah, and thank you to uh, to the restream and the commentary crew and everyone that helped put this together. <laughs> hey, it's our pleasure. Now, uh, do you? Uh, do you two have your uh, your second match uh, on the books yet? Have you scheduled that yet? We do. Yeah, we've got that on the books for Wednesday at uh, 9.30, the time this one was supposed to start. So about 48 hours from now. All right, we will keep an eye out uh, for that. Uh, TJ, my friend, do you have any questions for these two fine folks? No, absolutely. I think you guys covered everything. I uh, just want to say GG's again, and uh, thanks for letting us watch you guys uh, race it out. Yeah, make Pleasure. sure you give these give these two a follow. Uh, there, their uh, their handles are in uh, in in chat. And you know what? If you haven't already, subscribe to the Go Mode Podcast wherever fine podcasts are sold. Uh, Tim, would you like to say some words about the Go Mode Podcast, a podcast that you're on? Uh, yeah, Go Mode Podcast is a podcast about a link to the past randomizer where myself, uh, top ALTTPR top runner Dan number one seed Dante, crazy. <laughs> and, oh, uh, I don't know that I'm going to do qualifiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want to hear that whole behind the scenes story, uh, check out the show. Uh, but myself, Dante, and uh, another fella named Herfy Derpy just talk about randomizer for about two hours a week um you can find it wherever you find podcasts it's totally free to listen to and uh yeah check it out hope you like it wherever fine podcasts are sold and on this right. here twitch channel you can't watch the podcast on the twitch channel but you can see fun randomizer on it that's right 
All right, uh, gents, to the two of you, uh, GGs again, and good luck. Have fun in your race on uh, Wednesday. TJ, a pleasure working with you, my friend. You as well, Tyler. Thank you so much. Thanks again to uh, Drunk Future Self for hitting all the buttons in the background and to Lumaga for restreaming uh, this match here tonight on twitch.tv slash go mode podcast. Once again, my name is Tyler Salt on behalf of the entire crew and our runners. Thank you all very much uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, the rest of your night, and we hope to see you back in chat for another race soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone. Good night.